Hello again, Adam. i am uh, got a meeting coming up in a minute. I'm sitting in the car and had a little time. And so, <laughs> naturally, I was thinking about pensions. So, think about pensions. Um, and I'm not a pensions expert. Worked with pension professionals. They are incredible people. Very detailed, very focused, extremely knowledgeable. I'm not really here to share wisdom about uh, pensions overall. But there was one interesting part which uh, sort of does come into uh, my line of work in terms of benchmarking, which is, as a benefit, defined contribution pensions are now overwhelmingly uh, the offering. If there are any defined benefit pensions, they tend to be very much closed new entrants or they tend to be government backed schemes, which, to be honest, uh, my wife is in one. And every year you get something about, uh, you know, it's getting more restrictive. The benefit is getting tweaked in some manner. The contributions are going up. So we're talking about defined contribution. So obviously you choose, uh, sorry, the company offers you a certain amount of cash and you put in cash as well. And typically that is done on a matching basis. So to get the company cash, you have to put in a certain amount to get it. Now, an interesting question about that is when it comes to how much companies put in, generally speaking, um, companies will put in uh, up to five or up to 10% of your salary. Um, and actually 10% being the slightly more common and certainly uh, from my point of view if you're trying to do right by your employees I would very much suggest sort of working towards uh, at least 10% of salary for matching. Now in order for the employee to put cash in uh, to get that 10% so um, or even should you most companies will do some kind of matching rather than just offering it freely. And that can is typically, again, very much on either a one for one basis, i.e. every percent you put in, the company puts in a percent up to that 10% cap, or it can be a one for two basis. So for every 1% you put in, the company puts in 2%. So one of them immediately sounds a lot better than the other. You're saying, oh, if I put in... Uh, 5% of my salary, I get 10% off the business. That's fantastic. Um, but, oh, one for one matching, I've got to give up 10% of my salary in order to get that 10% from the business. That, you know, that feels a bit mean. But think about what we are trying to accomplish with pensions. Pensions are your long-term savings. So, this is what you're going to use when you retire. And the thing is, giving up some of your salary, yes, you're taking a hit now, but you are increasing the amount that you're saving for future. So you've got an interesting question here. Certainly, uh, one is more generous. So two for one matching. I'll give you 2% if you put in one. But at the same time, most employees will only contribute the minimum amount to get the maximum amount from the business. So as an employer, if you offer two for one matching, the majority of your employees will save a maximum of 15% of their salary each month. The 10 from the company, the five from uh, the employee. Whereas if you do one for one, fine, they have to give up more, but you're actually encouraging a higher rate of saving. So you're getting 10 from the employee and 10 from the company. So 20% overall. So certainly in trying to help employees plan for the long-term savings uh, in terms of getting ready for retirement, actually is one for one better than one for two? Is it actually got more of the employee's um, benefit at heart, their well-being? Certainly, uh, it depends very much how you look at it. And indeed, encouraging people to uh, take up and increase their rates is uh, a huge part of trying to publicise the benefits. I mean, seriously, it's just when it comes to pensions, this is almost like the most guaranteed cash you can get out of an organisation. Um, 
And also most uh, companies will offer some kind of salary sacrifice if your earnings are high enough. So that actually that's 10% of your salary that you're giving up might be more like 7%. So not a simple thing, but just a different angle on actually what's the best thing for an employee? Giving up uh, one for one or for one to two? All right. Thanks for spending a little time for me while I wait for my meeting and have a good day.